Good evening, Titans. This is Mr. Simpson, and tonight we'll be learning how to multiply polynomials, lesson 7.2. One method that they use in your book is called the FOIL method. Now, this is a method that we're trying to get away from because it really only works to multiply two binomials times each other. We want to be able to expand uh, our possibilities when we're multiplying polynomials. The FOIL method is a mnemonic device where we take and multiply the first term times first term in each binomial. Then we're going to multiply the outside terms times outside terms. Then we multiply inside terms times inside terms and last terms times last terms. And then we combine by adding our like terms. And so again, this is just an example from your book. I'll do an example like it, but we'll probably use a different method after this. So on a, I'll go ahead and use the FOIL method, x plus 2 times x plus 5. Again, you go first times first, so that's x squared. Outside times outside is x times 5 is plus 5x. Inside times inside is plus 2x. And then last times last is plus 10. Now, when I used to teach this, I'd go ahead and draw the old FOIL man and give him a little hair and... Uh, thank the FOIL man for helping us out. And then I combine my like terms and I get x squared plus 7x plus 10. So again, that's the FOIL method. We can also just use what we call the distributive method. And in this case, it becomes the double distribute because, again, if I have x plus 3 times x minus 4, the main thing is that this x term has to be distributed and multiplied by each term in the second binomial. So x times x is x squared, and x times negative 4 is negative 4x. Now I have to do the same thing with this 3. So the 3 has to be multiplied by the x, and the 3 has to be multiplied by the negative 4. So 3 times x is plus 3x, and 3 times negative 4 is a negative 12. And again, we combine our like terms, so I get x squared minus x minus 12. And that's one of the methods that we'd like you to use. It's just the double distribute, because we can go ahead and expand that to more types of multiplying polynomials.